Hi right, guys. <clears throat> well, the weather is saying it is a sunny day here. This is supposed to be a bright blue sky sunny day here in the Finger Lakes of New York. Uh, here on this smoky, it is a, where are we, Tuesday, June 6th. 2023 and uh good lord this is the first day you can actually smell the smoke in the air i mean it's been thick but this is uh, i mean this is just gross uh i can only imagine what it looks like you know within 100 miles i think I think the nearest wildfire, unless there's a wildfire right here in New York that I haven't heard about, which is quite possible. Gotta go get this damn turtle out of the road. It's quite possible that there is a uh, a fire in Ithaca, New York, since it hasn't rained in what a month. Uh, so the turtle is all right turtle started to cross the road but I guess she turned around and went back to the beaver pond so uh, I mean I honestly don't know if uh, if there's a fire uh, within 10 miles of me right now but it is a smoky day and I, I mean I don't know guys this is the first week of June what are they saying? Like more than two million acres in uh, Canada has already burned uh, so far in 2023. Uh, you know that that cliche word. <clears throat> what is it? unprecedented? And this is truly unprecedented. And what's also unprecedented? And I, I don't know what's going on with the trees uh, here in the Finger Lakes. I this is I, I I'm just getting confused. Which of these are ash trees or, or whatever? It's just uh, this is by far the worst plague of dead and dying trees I have seen yet up here. It's just, uh, I mean, it's crazy how many dead trees. But anyway, what I am doing, <clears throat> other than rambling here, is so, so probably for the next two to three hours of my life, what I am doing is taking care of my various fossil fuel powered equipment. Uh, I own one, I own, let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three, I own six fossil fuel powered uh, pieces of machinery and three of them are in various stages of disrepair. I guess you could actually say four of them if you uh, count this uh, gas-sucking truck uh, where I need to get this tire patched for the third time. The transmission is skipping uh, on this. 10 year old truck have no idea the nightmare so I have to go into Owego New York I'm halfway between Owego and Ithaca so I'm driving <clears throat> to Owego New York to the lawnmower and chainsaw shop uh, I am picking up a $20 throttle cable for the gas sucking mower that I think I paid $65 for this mower this gas sucking I have the $600 electric mower and I'm ending up using the $65 
and it almost made it through the yard. It was the final corner of the yard that took out my uh, <laughs> my gas powered uh, lawnmower. So I'm driving. I got to get the throttle cable for that, and then when I'm there. I have to get a new chain and a new bar for one of my two gas sucking chainsaws. So uh, throttle cable, chain and bar at uh, the lawnmower and chainsaw shop in Owego and then <clears throat> I get to turn around and drive all the way to Ithaca. Uh, it's about a, I guess about between a we go to Ithaca, what is 35 or 40 miles to pick up a new tire for the Gator that I have been in denial about for several weeks. And uh, so the very nice Amish kid, he's 17, the 17 year old Amish kid has offered to uh, fix my gator tire for free if I just bring him the tire and the tube. Uh, last time I took this, I did the tube and the other tire. It, it's about $18 for the tube and then the guy at the tire place charged me $30 to uh, replace an $18 tube. So uh, it's a good thing that the Amish, <clears throat> you know, this Amish family, this real nice Amish family <clears throat> that I do a lot of business with, they have more fossil-fueled uh, powered equipment than, than pretty much anybody I've ever met. I, I've never <clears throat> taken a full count of how many different fossil fuel powered uh, machines they have. Now of course they do not own a car or a truck but they own everything else uh, as the kid told me as the 15 year old kid when I was kind of uh, ribbing him about all of the fossil fuels he said, Sam, it takes a lot of fossil fuels to run a farm. And this is, you know, an organic family farm. It's one of these organic valley family farms. Uh, <laughs> it, takes a, it takes a lot of fossil fuels to run an Amish organic family farm, which is true, it does. And I asked him, would his grandfather agree with that statement? And he gave me a sheepish look. So anyway, I mean, I just can't believe this smoke. Anyway, that is, that is my day. At least the next probably three hours of it. Taking care of my fossil fuel babies. Uh... Oh boy, get out there and enjoy uh, your smoky days while well, you still can before the whole thing goes up in flames. I mean, what a nasty mess. You can barely see that that ridge, that far ridge. That ridge there, uh, which you should be able to see every tree on, that dark band of gray, that uh, is three miles from here. That, that is uh, that the lower trees uh, are a, about a thousand feet in front of me. That you know, the lower trees. The next band of dark gray is about. <clears throat> I'm guessing 
two or three miles and then the top that is a bright blue sky sunny day uh, I'm guessing 600 miles from the nearest wildfire get used to it happy summer 2023 my gosh